All right, we're gonna look at binomials and how we would figure out the factors and the um, polynomial of binomials. So to do that, you would arrange algebra tiles in a rectangle to show the factors. So it must be a perfect rectangular shape. The polynomials, we will just count what the tiles are. For the factors, we're gonna look at the side length. So let's look at example one here. Now they've already wrote width is four and what that means is they're counting this one, two, three, four, because that's that ones tile shape. Along here, the length is m rather than x, so one length, plus you have one, two, three there. So this means four times m plus three. That's actually the factors. That's what we mean by the side length. So since I talked about that, we're gonna fill that part in first. Okay, how do I figure out what the polynomial is? If I'm looking at algebra tiles, I simply count the tiles. So I have one, two, three, four of these long skinny ones, okay? Those are my M tiles. So we have four of those, so four M. And then we count how many of the little guys we have. These are the one tiles, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you have plus 12 of them. Everything's a light color, so these are yellow. So the polynomial is called four M plus 12. The factors are four times M plus three. How is this linked to factoring? Well, if we were to multiply 4m plus 3 through the brackets, we'd get 4m12. So these are the links. Okay, again, if we were to factor, we would factor out of 4 and be left with m plus 3. All right, give number 2 and 3 a try before you watch the next video.